I'm pretty happy tonight because the stars have actually aligned. Something happened that doesn't usually happen. That's all the neighbor's lights are off. Here, I'll show you. Except for that one, but theirs is pretty dull. It's just me, my fire, and the moon, and the stars. It can't get much better than that, can it? Do you know what else a clear sky means? It's going to be nice tomorrow. It's supposed to be plus five. So that means motorcycle ride. Good morning, cow and hikes. You're looking a little better today than you did yesterday, that's for sure. My son left for work an hour ago. I take it there must have been frost on his window by the looks of that. So that means it's chilly out. Is it too chilly to go on motorcycle? That's the question. I mean, look at that day. It's supposed to be around five degrees, maybe six degrees in warm areas. I know a lot of riders are like, double digits, got to be double digits. Not me, I'm going. Got to go for a ride. It's a beautiful day, I just can't not go. But first, it's coffee time. What you doing? Let's see what this guy says. Oh, it's about eight degrees on the deck. Do you think it's warm enough, Rex? Of course you do. It's decided. The dog says it's warm, so I'm going. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be sitting like that. You're supposed to be laying down. I can't do anything when you're stood up staring at me. I gotta plan a motorcycle ride, Rex. Do you know what's involved with that? Do you? I have to think about which direction I wanna go, which location. Yeah. Or I could just leave the thinking out of it and just point in front of the bike and keep going, right? I'm gonna drink my coffee and think of my location. I may not come up with anything. I think I'm in the process of eliminating a couple directions. I'm not in the mood to go to the southern shore again, that direction, because me and Robert and John did that a couple days ago. A few days before that, I did the Petty Harbor Cape Spear ride. So I'm not going to do that again. I've also did Holy Rood right around that area. So that's out of the question. So where does that leave me? I can either head out to Trans Canada and head up 
some other side road. Maybe I could do the Marine Drive. That's usually a good ride. And uh, with a couple side stops at places like Kitty Bitty. At around Middle Cove Beach, Flat Rock, Torbay, Pooch Cove, those areas. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I'm glad I paused long enough to drink my coffee before going for my ride because uh, I forgot that these new medications that I take have an effect on me for about an hour or two after I take them. It actually caused me dizziness and those brain zaps, that kind of thing. So it's probably not the right time to be on a motorcycle. So I'm still gonna keep drinking my coffee. Maybe by the time my coffee's done and I get my water in me, it'll all be settled and I'll be ready to go. Packing light today. Action camera with batteries. My, uh, my wireless microphone. A little tiny camera that I hook on my handlebar. And of course for my headset. The water and a tripod. That's it. In case I need a snack, I'll take my breakfast with me. Second breakfast, I'm like a hobbit. Needed a little air first. She was down to 30 PSI. I'm gonna put her up to about 38, I think. All ready to go, got my Foo Fighters going. I'm all set. Well, I don't have any destination in mind yet, but I do have to stop and get some fuel because I'm down to one bar. I got enough to get me about 100 kilometers, but I'm going to pop up just in case that mood hits. I think I got an idea where I'm going. I'm going to head to the Trans Canada and I'm going to head east. And I am going to do the Marine Drive loop. It's a nice scenic route, it's twisty. It's good enough on a cool day. Gets me out of the house. Clears the head. So, hey can't beat it plus it takes a good hour and a half or so to do that so it's uh, it's sufficient
straight ahead to the marine lab. This way to Marine Drive. And the temperatures after dropping down to a balmy three degrees. I should have wore something underneath my jeans. <laughs> Two degrees. Damn, she's getting colder. I'll be down to zero soon. I don't know if you can see that close enough, but that top number that says two, that's the temperature. Back on my deck, it was eight degrees, I think it was. <laughs> I'll be going back there when I go home. This area is Outer Cove. Stand up so you can get a better view nice down there, isn't it? Look at that. Before I shut off for the next clip, just up here, there's a, uh, a nice uh, war memorial, a monument here. Here we're overlooking uh, Middle Cove Beach. To the right here you get a nice little lookout. I'd say those folks are a little too cold to get out. <laughs> but what a view from up there. I mean look down there. you down just to show you the beach before I go back. So if you want to see videos on this, there's plenty of videos that I've uh, shared already of Middle Cove Beach. Beautiful, isn't it? No, not at all. It's a balmy three. Huh? So it's a balmy three degrees. <laughs> it's a little chilly. All right, bye bye, Middle Cove Beach. Off to the next location. I'm gonna change my clutch to rain mode so I don't skid out on this uh, loose gravel. It helps. jokes. I'll sign off now. <laughs> 
While I'm driving through Tor Bay, I'm going to give you a little show of Tor Bay Beach, which is a place I highly encourage you to go and just sit back and relax and have a coffee sometime. I've been down here a few times now. Twice I boiled up a coffee. Came down once with my wife just to show her the spot. I guess I pick a side. <laughs> I don't think he wanted to move. Came down with a drone once, but uh, I had to pull it in because it's a um, it's a geo zone. I'm not sure if that has to do with the ducks down there, if it's kind of a environmental area, but it's also fairly close to the airport, so that's another reason that uh, I probably got the warnings. <laughs> it's just on the perimeter, just outside the perimeter of the airport regulations. So this is Tor Bay Beach. Beautiful spot to come and hang out. Little parking spot down here. Nice hiking trail is where that lady's going. Way up on the right up there there's a platform. That's a viewing point for a waterfall. If you look straight across over there, you can see a wharf. There's a dirt road that goes down there. It might be still closed right now, but you can actually get down to that wharf. And I've been down there and had a coffee there before as well. If you want to check that video out, do a search for Tapper's Cove. Last time I was here, this was all snowed in. Oh yeah, one other thing I gotta show before I go. Look at that nice uh, mural painted up all along the on that uh, brick or not brick, the concrete. Nice, isn't it? All right, time to get out of here. See, over there is that wharf. Beautiful area, hey? Pretty little waterfall. The East Coast Trail takes you all around that whole area. You can follow that over to uh, Middle Cove Beach if you want. And ladies and gentlemen, right here is Flat Rock. Do you see why I enjoy Marine Drive? Straight across over there on the other side of the water, there's actually a river and a swimming hole there where you can go swimming. It's fairly risky. There's been drownings there over the years. But it's a uh, it's a nice spot to go visit. It's a nice location. Very scenic. Me and my daughter went there last summer and somebody was getting a wedding photo shoot. I'm gonna pull in here, I think.
when I first started doing my coffee rides on my motorcycle, the first, uh, one of the first places I came, I think it might have been my second coffee, was over there on that little dock. Went down where those waves are splashing and boil her up. now because there's salt water splashing over it. But I feel I think I will stop though and have my coffee. Not coffee, I got water and a protein bar. Good spot for a break. All right, where's my snack? There's my water and my protein, ready to go. You know how in life you often make dumb decisions? I think this is one of them. <laughs> I'm gonna come out and see if I can get a glimpse of these waves splashing out this way. Watch her come over the top and get me. Oh, it's not that scary out here. Well, I'm not going to say it was disappointing because it wasn't. It never is. But I was expecting higher waves based on what I was seeing when I was pulling in. Guess what time it is? Snack time. I'm surprised they're not frozen. It's almost like the same temperature in my refrigerator out today. Two degrees Celsius. I love coming down by the water. Anyway, this is probably boring, watching me walk around eating a protein bar with the waves in the background. Somewhere 
Made it back. It's a good thing. Ugh. I 
I need a smaller head. Well, that was a nice ride. I enjoyed that. I'm gonna go out now and I'm gonna enjoy this. Well, I'm gonna sit here and relax after that. Although, there's probably not much relaxing to do after a ride. So, I'm gonna hang out and just chill here for a bit. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the ride. I know I certainly did. And uh, tune in for the next one.